Hello my friends and welcome to Flying Circus Models. This is the second part of my uh, current project, Halberstadt CL2 uh, from Vignette Wings, the painting. The engine was uh, assembled and painted uh, in the same way as I did on my how-to video and the link to this video you can find in the description. Then I placed it on the frame and glued the engine to the frame. I used a candle to make the photo edge cowl for Spandau machine gun a little bit softer. This will help to bend it without any problems. So to bend the flat photo edge part, I used different drill bit sizes, going from the biggest to the smallest. But before gluing it to the machine gun, I drilled the barrel with 0.3 mm drill bit and used sharp scalpel uh, to make it more cone shape. Then both front and rear uh, machine guns were painted with steel color. Here is the final look on the fuselage uh, Spandau with uh, ammo box uh, installation before uh, the fuselage will be closed.
I used quite a lot of uh, super glue on fuselage joints. Uh, this will work as a putty. And uh, once it dried, I sanded both uh, fuselage joints with 600 sandpaper. After I drilled small holes for uh, control cables uh, uh, on the rudder, elevator and uh, the nose details. And the model is ready for painting. I covered the fuselage wings and tail details with the Mr. Surfacer 1000 gray primer. And as you can see from the picture of the real plane, uh, the fuselage was painted with black and white horizontal lines first, but later it was uh, repainted with blue and yellow vertical lines. So I decided to do the same. I masked the whole fuselage with uh, Tamiya masking tape and uh, painted black horizontal lines and made a pre-shading on the rudder. Wings were covered with uh, lozenge camouflage and painted with yellow uh, over the camo. I wanted to show more used effect and shadows on both wing sides, so I used wood brown color and painted, uh, painted some dots uh, with the stencil.
And before applying Lozen uh, decals, uh, I covered wings uh, with the layer of feature. The next step is to apply camo decals and uh, I covered the wings with uh, micro set solution to make the decal softer. With the help of a cotton stick, uh, I removed all air bubbles and covered with microsol after. Here I realized that it was my mistake to paint uh, stencil uh, dots, uh, just because uh, the decals are so thick, so you will not see anything below them. If you are going to do the same, you can skip this step or not to apply decals uh, at all. When decals dried, uh, I used a new sharp uh, scalpel blade uh, to remove the extra decals. Also, I applied German crosses um, that will be visible below yellow paint after. I painted uh, bottom and uh, upper sides of wings with yellow color and regretted one more time about my decision to apply lozen decals. Um, because paint is wet obviously and uh, decals started to wrinkle and uh, I had to use uh, again a lot of uh, set sew solutions, um, so again and again to remove all the wrinkles and bubbles. If you decide to use the same color scheme, my advice is just to paint a lot of dots and cover them with yellow, but don't apply lozen decals.
Anyway, back to the fuselage. Uh, masking tape was removed and uh, I masked vertical lines that will be blue and uh, painted it with the same yellow color. The central part of the wing was painted with blue paint and I used very thin layers so those stencil dots are visible. Then yellow lines were masked and I painted the fuselage with the same blue color. Finally, uh, we can remove all masks and uh, check the result of the paint job.
The fuselage and wings were powered with the layer of future. The tail and the rudder were painted with white color. Nineteen eighteen style crosses were applied over the old crosses, and um, also I applied some other decals. One more layer of feature to protect decals and the paint job is completed. As usual, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press like button and leave your comments below. I read and reply to all of them. Also, if you would like to support my channel, you can do it on Patreon. 
where you can see my videos early. Also, I share some interesting pictures there. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episodes.